First-person shooters and online games used to dominate the industry, with the 2000s and the early 2010s normally always being dominated by first-person online shooters, such as everyone's favourite family-friendly first-person shooter, Call of Duty. Yo, what else you oh, shield! I'm a pussy that use riot shield! Or everyone's favourite team building game, Halo. Wait! Shit! Oh, what? Fuck you! Fuck you! Shut up! Run! No! Brad, shit! Or maybe you want a not at all drawn out match of Battlefield, which of course will not send your granddad into a rage of PTSD. But why have first person shooters fallen off? These games that used to be almost a staple of the gaming industry have seemed to fall off, and now everyone cares about man who says funny word. I told you boy. Boy. Boy? No place for a boy. He said it! He said it! Or man who goes on a complete rapid murder spree because I made him and then gets the funny illness and dies. <laughs> And nowadays, everyone really, really seems to love that game where you play as a, p a black teen. The way he leaps off of rooftops and flips backwards to face the camera before falling into a headfirst dive is just full of the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. You see, in the beginning of gaming, there was shooters. Well, not really, but sort of. You see, when arcade games started to become a thing of the past, people moved on to the next thing. The next thing being PCs slash computers, in which people played shooters. And I mean, people played a lot of shooters, and they were often first-person shooters. Some of the most earliest shooters to come out and be loved by nearly everyone was the Doom 1 and Half-Life 1 video game for the PC and computer. Doom 1 came out in 1993 and was a cult classic shooter where you took on literal demons from hell with shotguns and machine guns. Yeah, I know, sounds great, because it was. And then in 1998, Half-Life 1 would come out, which to this day people say has one of the best stories and some of the best environmental combat aspects any game to date has. And it's at this point in time where every gamer alive wanted one of these two games. Well, not every gamer, but a damn lot. So much that these games were talked about all the time, and sadly, a lot of idiots talked about how they were bad. That they're not bad. But nonetheless, these two games kicked ass, and a lot of games back in the 90s kicked ass. In fact, it's a wonder how they made games back then, because gosh, are they good for their time. Moving into the 2000s, and first person shooters would only get more and more hype and love, with one of the best games of all time being made and kicking off the Halo franchise, Halo Combat Evolved. <laughs> In 2002, just a year after Halo Combat Evolves release, the first ever Battlefield would come out, and in 2007, the much-loved, much-highly-awarded Call of Duty 1 would come out, starting off the Call of Duty franchise. Now, however, to be honest, this is around the time where all games did start to do really well, and I mean all different types of games. Only difference is, the ones that were selling, and I mean like really selling, were all first-person games, first-person shooters, first-person games with online multiplayer. Players. The time that I'm talking about is around the same time Halo 2, 3, the Black Ops series and the Modern Warfare series dominated the industry. And these games sold in the millions, for example Halo 2, which literally broke records for the amount of copies sold in a day. And Call of Duty seemed to be unstoppable in the mid to late 2000s. And at the minute, all I'm talking about is online first person shooters, not even games like Left 4 Dead 1, which was a first person shooter zombie game. It was at this period of time where first-person shooters seem to be at their peak. However, this would not last forever. However, those Call of Duty ads seem to be timeless still. I'm doing it. Guys are doing it with girls, and girls are doing it with other girls. Some get together in groups and do it. 
people love these games, critics, YouTubers, and even your average Joe. However, like I said, things would not last forever, and by the end of the 2000s, or at least early 2000s, it looked like things were about to change for first-person shooters. At the start of the 2010s, we would almost instantly see a change in first-person shooters. We would almost instantly see a fade in their popularity, and I think this is because of two reasons. The first reason being that nearly all games that launched, no matter what they were, would launch with some sort of first person mode, such as RPGs, such as Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and even GTA 5 in 2014. This meant that people were being exposed to first person now more than they ever had been, and this was especially the case for first person shooters. The other reason I think popularity started to change on first person shooters is because of Call of Duty. And no, I'm not joking, I think Call of Duty has a lot to answer for. You see, the big three first person shooters are, and were, Battlefield, Call of Duty, and Halo. Now, Battlefield and Halo had around about a two to four year making process before before a game would be launched, this gave fans a lot of times to recover from the last game and have time to enjoy the last game more importantly. This was not the same for Call of Duty. Call of Duty would launch a new game every single year, and by 2013, people were really starting to get annoyed by Activision's laziness. Now, Call of Duty dominated the game's industry, and it dominated first-person shooters sales as a whole, but with the franchise's yearly release, the game soon became boring and bland, and everything but what the fans wanted. And to be honest, Halo wasn't doing that great either. In 2012, Bungie left Halo and 3 three industries would take over, and then from 2012 to 2015, two games would be made which the fans were less than impressed with. Out of the big three first person shooters, the only one that was still doing really well actually was Battlefield, as they stuck to their guns, and by 2016 they would have one of their best releases yet, Battlefield 1. It's also around this time where story based first person shooters kind of fell off, with Valve not making any new games, Left 4 Dead 2 being the last Left 4 Dead game, and Half-Life 2 being the last Half-Life game. Even Ubisoft's very well-loved Far Cry series was getting some backlash for Far Cry 4 in 2014 being too similar to Far Cry 3. This was also around the time where story games as a whole started to become third person and not first person, meaning they weren't first person shooters such as God of War, The Last of Us, and Spider-Man. <laughs> Wait, I just realised I put Spider-Man as an example of a game that isn't a first person shooter. F fucking hell. I'm leaving that in. It overall felt like developers had come to the conclusion that first person games just weren't good for a story based game and decided to go for third person instead. This would lead people to start playing story games that were third person and just stop playing first person story games altogether. 2018 saw the most amount of people play story games like never before, however first person shooters were still extremely popular, however this was going to change very soon. First person shooters would become even more a thing of the past when Battle Royale else would launch starting a whole new trend, practically stealing the Call of Duty audience like games such as Fortnite. And while Call of Duty would try and latch onto this trend, it would never stick like the actual Battle Royales did. However, this was not the killer of first person games, as games such as Far Cry 5 were still doing extremely well in the industry. But this would all change in 2021. 2020 would see a lot of games not launch or even get delayed due to, well, you know, that thing that was going around at the time. You must stay at home. However, hope for the games industry was not over, because 2021 would see Call of Duty Vanguard, Halo Infinite, and who could forget Battlefield 2042 all launching around the same time in that year, the big three back together again. And in my opinion, this is what killed first person games. Now, why did this kill first person shooters? Well, I won't lie, most of these games sucked ass. The Call of Duty we got might just be the worst Call of Duty game we have ever gotten to this day. The Battlefield game we got seemed like a poor man's Call of Duty. What? And the Halo we got, well, was hardly even a game. It was the best out of all of them, but it launched with near to no content and has only now been released properly. This is what killed first person shooters. And as for story first person shooters, well, they died a year earlier with Far Cry 6. 
By the time 2022 rolled round, all people wanted to play was Elden Ring, God of War 2, and all of these amazing story games. No one wanted to play first person shooters because first person shooters were dead. So are they dead? Are first person shooters really dead? Well, no and yes. Let me explain. I think confidently that for at least the foreseeable future, first person online shooter games are pretty dead. And I think this because the companies that make Halo, Call of Duty and Battlefield, no one trusts them and no one trusts what they're going to make and it's going to take a lot of time to build that trust back up so a lot of people just won't be buying their games so won't be playing first person online shooters. So well that's it right, all first person shooter games are just dead, done, in the water, gone, in the grave. Well to be honest, no, not really, with first person shooters such as Atomic Heart, Dying Light 2 and Robocop breathing fresh air into the industry and providing good first person story shooters. The reason why first person shooter story games are going to do well is because they breathe fresh air into the industry and provide the industry with new cool concepts and ideas that online games just don't. So for now I think I can say yeah that first person shooter online games are dead in the water at least for a little while. Helldivers 2 anyone? Take back control of freedom. Together for managed democracy. Together for victory. Together for liberty. Together for liberty. Together, they fight for freedom.